Hello, it's Scott Manley here. Now, for the next few days, I am going to be out of town on holiday, having a rest with my family. So, to keep my other family busy, all my uh, thousands of fans out there, I want to just make a few videos, and a few short videos, and so we're going to start out by looking at the sub-assembly loader by Dead Beef. Now, this is on Kerbal Spaceport. It was originally designed for 0.18, but it is working in 0.19, despite a few bugs which may or may not rear their ugly heads. What it does is add this little uh, jigsaw piece icon up here to the building. And what you can do is take this ship that I have already built. Now, this is the this is the root part up here, and all the rocket has descended from it. But I can grab this here and drag it up here, and it says, save sub-assembly. So I'm going to save this as my launcher. And, oh, lifters, there, I'll do that. Select. Save. So now I can stick that back there. Now if I go to now create a new vehicle, and say I just want to build myself a simple um, simple launch vehicle, what have we got? We've got the Panopticon viewing thingy. That looks kind of cool. I want to have one of those. I wonder if that has an IVA. I'm going to have to try that. Let's stick RCS tank on there. And some controls. We need some controls. Where are we? Where are the... Where's the... Oh, I'm on the wrong tab. Yes, well, I'm looking for RCS thruster block. Okay, so we just need some of those on there. And underneath we'll, we'll put uh, an ad a docking adapter. So head over to the structural section, grab this, flip it upside down, flip it upside... No, wait, that's a small one. Okay. All these new parts are so confusing. There's, I've also got the Kerbal um, X or whatever, not the Kerbal X, but the default, the standard part pack. And I've also apparently got, uh, I've got this thing not wanting to let me select this thing that I've just added in here that is so frustrating. Notwithstanding my own difficulties, this is supposed to, of course, make things a whole lot easier. I mean, in the real world, you don't custom build every launcher from the top down. You have a series of well-tested launchers like the Titan, the Atlas, you know, the Proton. You build the spacecraft and then you plug those on top. And because of the way Kerbal Space Program has been built, that hasn't been possible. But uh, yeah, now we have the sub-assembly loader. That will help you uh, have a standard launcher and be able to change the vehicles up whenever you want. Excellent. Now we need a docking port. I mean, we don't need a docking port because this is just like building a spacecraft, right? So look, we have minimalist spacecraft on the top here. Let's drag it up just a bit. And you note again what the root part is. So now I can go to my sub-assembly and go into my lifters. And it says example. Ah, great. Let's go back up. Okay, launcher apparently did not go into the sub-assembly thing. But let's select it. Let's show how it works. I thought that would work, but apparently it doesn't. I have been using this. So there we are. I have my reusable launcher as a sub-assembly. And I've built myself a complete rocket without having to mess around with this lower half just yet. Uh, that's pretty darn marvellous, if you ask me. It's going to save me hours and hours and hours of messing around in this space plane, uh, the vehicle. Now, another nice thing is you can build uh, objects in the space plane hangar. Uh, the sub-assemblies are shared between the different hangars, right? So, oh, come on. Let's, let's try there. Does not compute. Does not want to attach. You are not cool. Okay. Well, so much for that. Well, never mind. Listen, let's let's just. This is not working out very well, is it? Uh, let's let's take a look at another example where I can. Well, I can start with a new object, and let's just. Let's just 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 just. We got to pick something. Um, mm, 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 mm. Oh, actually, no, that's what I wanted to do. If you go over to Space Plane Hangar, and I load up the space truck that I built. Space truck. Here we go. It just takes a second to load. And that was the original test rig for launching it. And you can't even see it because it's, like, off the top there. Look, my marvelous space truck was originally put on top of a test rig. Well, we don't need that anymore because we have the reusable launcher thingy here. Launcher, select. And it thinks, and it thinks, and it thinks, and I just have to rotate it. And there we go. Look at that. We now have 
a totally legit space vehicle, all in one, ready to go. Look at that, eh? That is how easy it is. So, sub-assembly loader by uh, Dead Beef. Look for it on Spaceport. It will save you great many hours and, yes, fly safe. <laughs>